Ooh, do we have enough sex? Enough <laughs> sex? Is there ever enough sex? Um, I don't feel I like I'm missing out. That. I don't I feel knew like you were gonna say that. No, but I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. There, have, there aren't necessarily times where I'm like, damn it, if only we had had sex. I think that, you know, in taking the long view, there's going to be plenty of opportunity for me to screw up and for us to have sex. <laughs> for me to screw up too. Well, and for you to have sex. And for me to say no to sex, which right. I've never done. <laughs> you're allowed to, though. You, you, you're allowed to do that. It's not some patriarchal thing where it's like, What do you remember about the first time we met? <laughs> I remember that I was going to be the cool one because it just seemed more natural and that I spilled a drink. Really? <laughs> that's what I okay. remember. All right. I can't believe that's what came to my mind first. That's not the first thing I remember. I would not have probably thought of that. I don't know what my answer would have been. But... <laughs> I don't know. I would have been awkward. It was all awkward. It was very awkward the first time. <laughs> you kept saying that. Ooh, you ready for this? I guess. I what are you hesitant to tell me? What am I hesitant to tell you? Mm -hmm. Right now or ever? Uh, I'm going to say ever. I'm going to go ahead and make that call. Hmm. I don't know. It's always difficult to tell you. <clears throat> difficult, if not impossible to tell you if something that you've done oh. has bothered me. Like what? <laughs> and that might be me, it might not be you. Give it me be my, might be my perception of you. I can't think of one right off the top I'm of my head. I'm a ball buster. A little bit. <laughs> no, little I'm bit. not. A little bit, let's be honest. This is all about honesty. Um, I think <laughs> that sometimes you'll do something and I'll be like, oh, I don't agree with that. But it's not worth it for me to have that conversation. Interesting. Because it's usually not anything big. It's usually not anything that I need to have a conversation about. It's like usually stuff like, should have just let that go, kid. Okay. That's it. It's interesting. Makes sense, huh? Kind of, yeah. Okay. When do you feel closest to me? Or closest to me? Um, this is really weird too, but I feel like when I do something like work out and tell you about it, or have a hard day and tell you about it because there's no one else in my life. Like I talk about my mom and mm -hmm. I talk about my family. I talk about <laughs> okay. trips and all that with my friends. But you're the only one I talk about like mundane. I had a hard workout. <laughs> like, it seems so stupid. But <laughs> no, but do you feel close to me when you tell me about it or do you feel yeah, close to me respond. when you're going through it? No, when I'm telling you about it. Like I find oh, okay. myself wanting to call you and tell you about it. And then I afterward I think, Okay. That was, I think that's when I started knowing that it was like, oh, this might be. When you could complain to me yeah. about your day. Okay. <laughs> no, I agreed. Yeah. Agreed. No, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, other than right now, I feel really close to you right yeah, now. Yeah, we have this table here. Well, that's fine. <laughs> it's like a jail house. Like, I feel like, like I've done something Oh, bad. we should have like a, mm -hmm. we should be on the phone. Yeah. That's my turn. Oh, I'm sorry. No. I think, right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to ask this, but I'm going to. <laughs> okay. Do you want to marry me? This has all been a trick. It's all been a trick. <laughs> Your mom's going to be jumping out like, I knew it. Where's the ring? <laughs> They're going to play that Bruno Mars song and everyone's <laughs> going to come out and be like, no, bullshit. Um, do I want Cue to? music. <laughs> yeah, see? I knew it. Um, I would jump out the window, I think. Do I want to? <laughs> Um, it's a thought. I don't, you know, we've had a discussion. It's not some, it's not something I need. Like there's no religious reason to do it. There's, it's not for the children. It's not for, you know, my mother doesn't give a shit. No one's going to pressure me into marrying you. I, do I want to? I'm pretty sure that was a question. Do you want to marry me? <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't, I mean, it's going to sound, it's such a pretentious question and people get so tied up in it and it's like, <laughs> 
a magic moment, but I would, sure. I mean, I don't have any pressure either way. Like, I'm not afraid of it. Uh, I can totally see it happening. Um, but I don't know what my reasoning for it would be. It is interesting because we talked about But it. I would also need to know going into it that you would want to. Before you propose. Yeah. yeah. Before you spent the money on the ring. <laughs> yeah. Well, all that aside, not even the proposer of the rings. I just wouldn't, I would need to know that it was, you know, something that you would want as well. How has our relationship changed in the last year since the end round one? Um, well, <laughs> well, we're engaged. We live together. We have plans for the future in place. Um, at that point, it was, well, I guess it was still, it was two years ago that, we've, that we were here. Um, and yeah, I feel like life has changed. Perspectives have changed. Um, as far as our relationship goes, we've just grown together as those changes have taken place. Okay. Yeah. I agreed. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd like to say that I saw this all in the future, like when I was sitting there the first time. Really? I saw this all happening, or at least I saw the potential of it, but I don't know. I think I was maybe just, you know, working towards just maintaining what we had at the time. Okay. Like, I get stuck in contentment where I'm like, all right, this is good. <laughs> what we have right here is good. Let's just not ruin this. I'm okay. mainly talking to myself when I say that. Like, don't fuck anything up. Fair. And so far, so good. So far. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> well, there's always that. Oh, here we go. How do you really feel about the wedding? What's your biggest fear regarding the wedding? My biggest fear regarding the wedding is the same fear that I have with our whole relationship. The aforementioned, am I going to screw something up? What am I going to do that's going to, that's going to screw this up? Or what outside thing will happen? Like what, you know unknown about love child is going to show up on our doorstep. <laughs> and I'm not saying that it's ever going to happen. There's no reality of that. But that's where my head goes. Like, what if I trip and fall and then your dress is ruined or, you know. I don't have any stress whatsoever about the actual marriage. Oh, what do the next two years look like for us? <coughs> so much fun. That's my first, like, thought. So much fun. So the okay. next two years, the next three months, Wedding planning, wedding, best wedding ever. And then a few months of... Living in that bliss. Um, yes, I think that bliss is actually gonna help us get through, and I mean us, both of us, get through the fact that we're about to have a huge change. Okay. And then in the fall, leaving it all behind and having an adventure I've never had with anybody I think um, so many couples get married and then like the next step is, oh, we're going to buy a house and that's so exciting for them or, oh, it's time to start getting ready to have kids and that's so super exciting for them. And I think the fact that we're not doing either of those, but that we're going to be taking a trip wherever, not wherever the wind blows us, but in a way, like I think we'll have a plan. And it's something I never thought I would see myself doing ever. Like I always thought I'm gonna graduate college, I'm gonna get a great job, I'm gonna make good money, and then I'm gonna have this great life. And it's sort of like I graduated college, I got the job, I ticked off all the check marks for my career, and then now I'm like, oh, I don't wanna do this anymore. And to have someone with me that's like, yeah, I don't really either. Let's change it up. Let's blow it up. Yeah. It's kind of amazing. What has changed for us since our last The And session, and how do you feel about it? We got married. We quit our jobs. Yes. We were jobless for a year. We traveled, well, I want to say the world, but we didn't. I always say the world too, I know. but it's not the world. We didn't, and then people are like, oh, did you go to Asia? No. Did no. you go to Africa? No. no. Did you go to Antarctica? No. So we went to Europe. We went to all of the United States, except Kentucky, <laughs> Utah, uh, yeah. Alaska, and Hawaii. Yep. And now we're putting our lives back together in New York. Yay. That's a lot. No, we did a lot. A lot has happened. Yeah. 
What have I done to surprise you the most in the past year? My biggest shock and surprise, honestly, and I don't even have to think about it, is when we went on this trip and your openness to not know what we were going to do from one day to the next. That surprised you? Surprised, shocked, amazed. I told you that. You said you were going to work on it, but you also set it up to say like, I'm going to try this, but because one thing I know about you is that you don't like to be bored. You don't like to feel like you're waiting for something to happen. You don't want to waste your time. Everything has to be in your calendar. And there were definitely days where it was like a Tuesday in, I don't know, Vienna, where we would wake up and have no idea what we were going to do. And I mean, that's my life. Like, I love that. Like, because who knows? We could, the thing is, we could do anything. Or we could, be, we could just have a sandwich and do nothing. I think when we were together for a while and it was looking like we were going to get married and then once we got married, I think people were just waiting for us to say, oh, we bought a house, we're going to start having, when are you going to, I mean, we still get people asking when we're going to start having kids, like when are you going to start doing the thing that everyone's supposed to do now that they've gotten married? Like, I also, so many people just assume that, you know, you're going to have kids because that's the next step that you do. And people who are close to us know this, and I don't mind saying it because I'm in a time in my life when I don't care anymore. I, 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 you know, I physically can't have kids. And we have made the choice that we don't want to adopt, adopt. We don't want kids. We have made through loads of discussions and many tears and many talks with other people and thoughts is not our path. <clears throat> what is one experience you wish us to have together? Oh. Hmm. I... <laughs> this is weird that this is coming out, coming to my brain first. I mean, I would love for us to travel more together, but that's, we've done that. Right. And I want us to do more. But. Sure. Um, I, I, we've talked about this um, some already, but, and maybe this is because the guys are going through this right now, but I know we don't want to adopt, but um, I am very interested in the future, not, re not soon future, but maybe a little distant future. I am looking forward to opening up our home to like foster teenagers and looking into that more. Yeah. I think that would be really cool to do with you and something I would never do on my own. Sure. Um, or anyone else, but, um, or with anyone else. But yeah, I think we would be really good at that. We're a great team and, um, yeah, that is something I would like to do with you. Okay. Same. I think, yeah, I, I think you would be better at that than I would, and I, I think you would think I would be better than you would, and I think together we'd just be fine or better than we all think we are. <laughs>